morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of Company I and Company N. The graduation ceremony that you are about to see is the culmination of the recruit training process and marks the beginning of a challenging future for our new Marines. For the convenience of everyone attending the ceremony, we request that you please remain in your seats until the ceremony is complete. We also ask that you do not pass in front of the reviewing stand or onto the parade deck during the ceremony. Once the ceremony is complete, please be sure to gather all of your belongings and place any trash in the receptacles located behind you prior to exiting the stands. Thank you for your cooperation. The term Devil Dog is used today as a friendly reference between Marines but the nickname has a proud history. It was first given to the Marines by German troops who fought against them at the Battle of Bella Wood during World War I. In 1921, Major General Smedley Butler introduced the first Bulldog as a Marine mascot. Now entering the parade deck is Paris Island's own Devil Dog, Corporal Ofa May. Corporal Ophemay is an English Bulldog who enlisted in the Marine Corps on August 21, 2017. She reported for recruit training on August 27 and graduated November 17. Corporal Ophemay's handler is Lance Corporal Sanders of the Headquarters and Service Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Jensen. The staff for today's parade is comprised of drill instructors from the 3rd and 4th Recruit Training Battalions. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. The chaplain of the 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Johnson, United States Navy, will deliver the invocation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Spiritual formation plays a vital role in the making of the United States Marines. Now for a special prayer for India Company and November Company. Let us pray. God, as we come together today, we give you thanks for giving these young men and women the patience, strength, and courage necessary to accomplish the goal of becoming United States Marines. Working through their diversity of cultures and personalities, you have forged them into a team. Thank you for seeing them through the physical, emotional, and spiritual trials of training. You have blessed them with loving families and friends who have supported them while they were here. Thank you for bringing them safely to share this special moment with them. God, we pray that you will continue to watch over them and us, our core and our country, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Present-day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The massed formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, 
a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation that you are about to see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. The marine marching across the parade deck is First Sergeant Wade. She is the parade adjutant and will very shortly give the command to begin the ceremony. Her position when she halts indicates where the right flank of the formation will rest. Once positioned, she will draw her sword and supervise the placement of the formation. aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. They have departed Paris Island for combat in conflicts throughout the world. The misty wheat fields of Bella Wood, the gritty beaches of the Pacific, the snow-capped mountains of Korea, the sweltering jungles of Vietnam, the parched desert sands of Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan and every other climate and place where Marines have sacrificed for country and corps. The first called upon, the first to arrive, and the first to fight. The Marine Corps, the nation's force in readiness, has answered the call to numerous hotspots around the globe, showing the world once again that the United States Marine Corps is America's premier 911 force. Marching onto the parade ground are Company I and Company N. They began their training on July 9, 2021. But today's graduation marks the end of a demanding and difficult 12 weeks of training. These young men and women you see marching before you have met and mastered the challenge of recruit training. They have qualified with the service rifle and received basic warrior training. They have completed over 200 hours of academic instruction and participated in a rigorous physical training program that has developed their strength and stamina for the challenges ahead. Core values have been instilled in each of them. The meaning of honor, courage, and commitment. Marching before you this morning are 526 success stories, each of them a testament to the physical courage, dogged determination, and unyielding commitment to excellence that define the title Marine. This is what they have striven and persevered for, the right to walk across this parade deck as Marines. They have earned this title through demonstrated courage and achievement, and now join the proud ranks of over one million Marines who have graduated from Paris Island. From this day on, they will carry on the proud legacy and history of the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marines of Company I and Company N.
the platoons are being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact position for the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove all hats for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. The parade adjutant now presents the command to the commander of troops, indicating that the parade is formed. Oh, my God. 
76 series. All present are accounted for.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. In keeping with the slogan, once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. We ask that those men and women in the audience who have served in the United States Marine Corps please rise. Please join us in showing our appreciation for the dedicated service to the Corps. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of the 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Sandstrom. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding general, Brigadier General Nethercott, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Company I and Company N. I'd like to give a warm welcome to today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Bradley Driver. Sergeant Major, 1st Battalion Recruit, a 2nd Battalion Drill Instructor, we are proud to parade the Marines of 3rd and 4th Battalion in front of you today after 24 years of service. Welcome home. I'd like to give a special thanks to the spouse and families of our drill instructors and officers. I know that the demand we place on your loved ones as they make Marines is also placed upon you as you keep the home fires burning. Your commitment and sacrifice does not go unnoticed. I love you each for everything that you do. And thank you for keeping this house afloat. This is an amazing crowd. This is really, really big. I love the signs. I love the flags. I love that you painted your cars. The pride that you have and the energy you give as we parade the accomplishments of these Marines behind me. Yeah! Three months ago, their recruiters selected them for the challenge of recruit training and shipped them to our yellow footprints. Where on forming day one, their senior drill instructors told them that they could become Marines if they developed discipline and spirit and that they would give them every opportunity to earn the title. For 12 weeks, I watched this group struggle at the demands of their drill instructors. I watched them overcome adversity, whether it was mental or physical, at the gas chamber, repel towel, water survival, academics, and inspections. I watched their excitement as they completed martial arts, marksmanship, and basic warrior training. And I watched them earn our most coveted emblem, the eagle, globe, and anchor, following a grueling 54-hour event known as the Crucible, in which their team, endurance, and stamina were tested, all leading to this moment. Transformed and indoctrinated into the world's finest, a United States Marine. And I'd like to recognize three groups for their part in the transformation. First are our recruiters. Marine Corps recruiters work long hours in big cities and small towns, searching and competing for only the best and most fully qualified applicants. Marines are known as the few for a reason. And it was a recruiter that found that these few were the right fit for our institution. Next are our drill instructors. This group of highly professional Marines dedicates their lives to teaching, coaching, and mentoring patriotic civilians and transforming them into United States Marines. Each and every day, they show what right looks like as a Marine by challenging individual character with intense adversity while instilling our core values, honor, courage, and commitment. These Marines met that challenge, and I have no doubt their drill instructors will be etched in their memories forever. Finally, it's you. Parents, family, friends, teachers, coaches, former employers. You laid the foundation of good character, values, and patriotism that led them on this journey. It was through your love and support that they were able to endure the challenges of recruit training. And that same support will be necessary as they continue their enlistment. So on behalf of a grateful Marine Corps, please join me in a round of applause for our recruiters, our drill instructors, and our Marine family.
pardon me as I address the Marines. Good morning, Marines. Congratulations on completing your troop training and earning the title of United States Marine. Your drill instructors have ensured that you have the character, the toughness, the war fighting ability, the decisiveness, and the leadership ability to successfully serve as a United States Marine. Today's ceremony is about you and about what you accomplished. But the moment you leave this parade deck, it is no longer about you. It is about your family, your friends, the citizens of this nation, and the Constitution which we serve. It is about the Marines that will always be to your left and to your right. And it is about the Marines who have gone before us. But primarily, it is about that eagle, globe, anchor, upholding our core values and high standards of excellence that have been instilled in you since training wave one. You are forevermore a United States Marine. So maintain that spirit and discipline and you will continue to conquer every challenge. Semper Fidelis, Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of the way. It's the Marines of India in November. The parade reviewing official for today's graduation ceremony is Sergeant Major Bradley S. Driver. Sergeant Major Driver assumed his post as the Mar 4 Com Headquarters and Service Battalion Sergeant Major in December 2019. A native of Belton, South Carolina, he attended recruit training at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina in June 1997. Throughout his career, Sergeant Major Driver has been assigned numerous duties to include CH-46 Mechanic and Crew Chief, BH-3D Mechanic, Crew Chief, and Collateral Duty Inspector, Drill Instructor, Senior Drill Instructor, Series Chief Drill Instructor, Flight Line Chief, Assistant Marine Officer Instructor at Virginia Military Institute, Personal Security Guard for One Met Forward Commanding General, Maintenance Control Supervisor and Chief, CH-46 Crew Chief, School Chief Instructor, and Staff and COIC, Rifle Company, Weapons Company, and h &S Company First Sergeant, and First Sergeant of Inspector Instructor Staff. His previous tour as a Sergeant Major was with Recruiting Station Salt Lake City. He has been assigned to the following units, HMMT-204, HMX-1, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, HMM-265, NROTC Virginia Military Institute, HMMT-164, 1 Met Forward, 1st Battalion 5th Marines, and INI B Company 1st Battalion 23rd Marines. He has deployed to various places throughout the Pacific Theater with the 31st Mu on multiple occasions to Afghanistan for 12.1 and 12.2 with one met forward in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and to Australia as the 1st Battalion sized element for the Marine Rotational Force Darwin with 1st Battalion 5th Marines. He has been meritoriously promoted to the ranks of Staff Sergeant and Gunnery Sergeant. He is married to the former Blair C. Conrad of Greenville, South Carolina. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Management and a Master's degree in Management from the University of Phoenix. He is also a certified Personal Health, Fitness and Nutrition Coach. Now taking his position in the reviewing area is Sergeant Major Driver. He is being escorted by Sergeant Major Becker, Sergeant Major, Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. I 
During the pass and review, we ask that as the national colors pass before you, please rise. After they have passed, please be seated. Knox and the graduating Marines of the 3072 series. His series commander is Captain Collins. The honor platoon for Company I is platoon 3072. The senior drill instructor is Staff Sergeant Alvarez. He is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Saldariaga, Staff Sergeant Evans, and Sergeant Bell. The drill instructor of platoon 3073 is Staff Sergeant Blankenship. He is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Sarah Sadies, Staff Sergeant Rojas, 
and Sergeant Keller. Instructor of Platoon 3074 is Staff Sergeant Vera. He is assisted by Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Wiley and Sergeant Fortier. <laughs> the Senior Drill Instructor of Platoon 3076 is Sergeant Welch. He is assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Reeves, Sergeant Conley, and Sergeant Knapp. The Regimental Color Guard. The Color Sergeant is Sergeant Martinez. Sergeant Stax and the graduating Marines of the 3076 series. His series commander is Captain Harrow. The senior drill instructor of Platoon 3077 is Staff Sergeant Fedders. He is assisted by drill instructor Staff Sergeant Warner, Staff Sergeant Lapiosa, and Staff Sergeant Castillo. Drill instructor of platoon 3078 is Staff Sergeant Hines. He is assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Evans, Sergeant Combites, and Sergeant Roy. Staff Sergeant Ortiz and the graduating Marines of the 4038 series. Her series commander is Captain Keel. The senior drill instructor of the 4038 is Staff Sergeant Becerra. She is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Tumachev, Staff Sergeant Velasquez, and Sergeant Smith. The honor platoon for Company N is platoon 4039. The senior drill instructor is Staff Sergeant Bonner. She is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Paul Dolores, Staff Sergeant Bonner, and Sergeant Arantia.
Ladies and gentlemen, the company commanders of Company I and Company N, Captain Hermans and Captain Rosetta. The new Marines carrying the platoon guidons have been selected as the honor graduates for their platoons. They will now retire their guidons. The platoon guidons that are about to be retired have been the identification flags of each platoon throughout recruit training. To each, the guidon is a symbol of spirit, dedication, teamwork, and unit identity. The commanding officer of the 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Sandstrom, will present the high PFT and honor graduate awards. Lieutenant Colonel Sandstrom is accompanied by the 3rd Recruit Training Battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Brown. We would like to thank the Marine Corps Association for providing the awards today. Please hold your applause until all of the awards have been presented. The most physically fit Marine of Company I, with a score of 600 out of 600 possible points, is PFC Inman of Platoon 3072. PFC Inman is from McDonough, Georgia, and was accrued by Staff Sergeant Lloyd.
the most physically fit Marine of Company N, with a score of 597 out of 600 possible points, is Private Lewis of Platoon 4038. Private Lewis is from Sanders, Arizona, and was accrued by Sergeant Drennan. The Company Honor Graduate for Company I is BFC Boosnitz of Platoon 3072. BFC Boosnitz is from Round Hill, Virginia and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Cruz. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3073 is BFC Hines. BFC Hines is from Pensacola, Florida and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Tate. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3074 is BFC Rodriguez. BFC Rodriguez is from Alexandria, Virginia and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Castillo Rio. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3076 is BFC Magana. BFC Magana is from Tallahassee, Florida and was recruited by Sergeant Price. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3077 is PFC Torres. PFC Torres is from Detroit, Michigan and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Eisen. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 3078 is PFC Hayden. PFC Hayden is from Baltimore, Maryland and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Wardell. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 4038 is PFC Noble. PFC Noble is from Los Angeles, California and was recruited by Sergeant Walton. The Company Honor Graduate for Company N is Lance Corporal Harrison of Platoon 4039. Lance Corporal Harrison is from Seminole, Florida and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Ding S. Marching onto the parade ground are the primary marksmanship instructors of platoons 3072 and 4038, Sergeant Pelliser and Sergeant Day. The high shooter of Company I, with a score of 337 out of 350 possible points, is Private Gwillin. Private Gwillin is from Fort Myers, Florida, and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Ruano. The high shooter of Company N with a score of 334 out of 350 possible points, is PFC Infante Romero. PFC Infante Romero is from Las Vegas, Nevada, and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Olano. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished graduates of Company I and Company N,
ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away, which represents the historic partnership and shared legacy of the United States Navy and the Marine Corps, followed by the Marines' hymn and the final dismissal. First Sergeants of Company I and Company N, First Sergeant Jensen and First Sergeant Wade. The senior drill instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This is the last and probably the most welcome order the new Marines receive from their senior drill instructors. Thank you for attending today's graduation ceremony. 